determining the total voltage and the voltage drop across each capacitor in a complex circuit. What is the voltage of C1 in the circuit? All right, let's do this step by step. Our first step is going to be determining the total capacitance or the equivalent capacitance of the circuit. We determined that in uh, our previous problem and that was equal to 2 farads. Our second step is going to be determining the total charge. Okay, so uh, we get that from C equals Q over V and Q was equal to C times V and we determined that to be equal to 160 coulombs in the previous problem. Okay, so now we know that Q total, remember, is going to be equal to Q1 plus QP, okay, so assuming this section is uh, all one capacitor. Or, sorry, this should be equals, so that, that these are exactly the same. So the total is going to be equal to the total charge of this capacitor, um, which is equal to the total charge of these two capacitors. So therefore, Q1 is going to be equal to 160 coulombs as well. And then we have the capacitance. C1 is equal to 4.00 farads. So all we need to do to determine voltage is, again, go back to the standard equation. C equals Q divided by V. Solve for V. I get that V equals Q over C. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my information. I get 160 divided by 4. And I get a total of 40.0 volts as my final answer. 40.0.